system 1B was, was run, get out there as fast as possible to prove that this technology strategy we have, so passive floating systems, that that actually works and is something we can uh, build on for the future. So with System 1B, uh, well, Mission 1, you can say now, uh, concluded, the, the focus of the team shifted to uh, System number 2. System number 2, we want to be full scale in size, so basically scaling up the technology itself, but also looking at fully operational. Uh, so that means our engineering team is now focusing on two main engineering parameters. One is long-term operability. Uh, the second part is the sustained plastic retention. Uh, this means we want to find a method for the system to hold plastic in the system longer so we can actually optimize our extraction model and therefore lower costs and then vessel impact on our mission. So those are the two parameters our team is working on at the moment. But it also means we're going to have a few design updates in our system to address these two points. So what we realize is that the, you know, the main cost of getting plastic out of the ocean is vessel cost. Um, so ideally, you have systems out there that can just stay there for months and months and months at the time, maybe a year even, and you just periodically have to visit to extract the plastic. So capturing is one thing, but retention, that's really what's required to be able to do that. And you'd much rather have perfect retention and sub-perfect capturing than sub-perfect retention and perfect capturing. But that's what we hope to do in the run-up to System 2. Always building new stuff. We're in the zoo today, where we have some uh, basins to uh, do some little experiments. It's like really James Bond-like, like this this big black screen opens up and there's this huge aquarium with sharks <laughs> swimming around. <laughs> Today we are going to do some tests, some simple tests, we call tinkering tests, that means uh, we build some simple models and we put them in a pool of water just to play around with it basically and then we can, can feed that back into the concept development. Just be sure that uh, the, at least the first model is ready at one. So the simpler it looks, the better of a design it is. We are investigating the different footprints and can we create a geometrical trap? Yeah. We have system 001B that has caught plastic. So yeah, the benchmark is there. Try building that if I can. It's not possible. Because the geometric blinds, you Curious to this one. Once they move this side, they open up. Once they move the other side, they close off each other. I mean, what we're doing here is, of course, what we call tinkering. So we're looking, we're thinking, we're trying to come up with different ideas. And hopefully it helps us in finding a, a good solution for the retention problem. What do you guys in the way? Uh, so those of you who have been behind your computer this afternoon have seen that I've just sent out an update on the coronavirus <coughs> situation. In fact, with IT, we are really looking at, an, uh, at, at what is necessary if at some case the instruction comes that we can't come to the office at all and everybody has to work from home. So we are trying to prepare for that scenario as well. Hello everyone. Hi guys. Good um, afternoon. Hello everyone. Hello. 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 Hola.
Hallo. Hey, verder. Is het meer looking for? Welcome everybody to this uh, brainstorm session. I took quite some time to organize it uh, to make sure we can work it out online. We are a big group and I hope it's gonna be a fun brainstorm and I hope that uh, we managed to get quite some good ideas up. It can also be a big failure. <laughs> it's okay. I hope we end up somewhere in between. Please just let's be honest with each other. I hope you guys can uh, help me. This uh, brainstorm is gonna be about the retention uh, system, but especially regarding uh, the intake mechanism. We wanted at least 90% of the plastic that we encounter will enter the retention area. This is really an important part of the system development. Let's get the best out of it. Plastic intake from below. Yeah, maybe, or I thought maybe if you have that weight, then it, it travels along this line. More reliable way to be. Oh, and this is just a cross-section view. You follow this from left to right, you slowly dissipate the energy of the waves and you end up with a calm zone retention area. Kind of like an upside down suction pile. Can you break up the problem into smaller steps? The right barrier comes up and the left one goes down. But that only works if the rest of the structure around it is also rigid. Yeah, all of the windows have a one-way valve. Then you get a turbulent area, as we saw with Wilson's screen. Mm, that's about it from my side. We will uh, take it from there. Thanks, awesome job. Bye, guys. Yeah, yeah good job, Bye. 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 Thank bye. you. Bye. 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 bye.